Hey guys, Steve Bivens here again uh, with another episode in episode 9 of 52 Things That I Think I Know. Uh, and uh, this one, uh, I'm trying to catch up this week, so I'm doing two right back to back if you're watching live. If not, then you may see this actually when you're supposed to. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is, that, is, is a really, it should be a simple one. Money is not wealth, okay? Uh, we think it is, in America especially, but increasingly everywhere, that we've equated money with wealth, and they're not the same thing. Money is actually a symbol of the wealth. It's supposed to, it's a tool in which we, to help us trade wealth around because it's a lot it's you know it's difficult to you know say i have some chickens and you have a car and i come to you and say oh, i've got five million chickens which is probably what it would cost uh to buy this car and you're like i don't need five million chickens <laughs> right um someone just gave me five million chickens yesterday for a car i don't really need 10 million so uh, what you need is some way of exchanging those things without exchanging one barter and trade one thing for another. And so money is one way of doing that and probably one of the most efficient ways of doing it. And so very, very, very long time ago, thousands of years ago, humans figured this out, different forms of, of money. And we can get, this is a really deep topic actually that we could go on for days <laughs> but I'm going to make it as simple as I can. Money is just the symbol of the wealth. Okay. The wealth is the stuff. The chickens or the car or water or your house. Uh, those are the things that you want or need. That's the wealth. <laughs> okay. So when you go to the grocery store and you spend these days, $200 <laughs> on groceries, you're not actually spending it. Okay? You're investing it because what are you going to do with that food? Hopefully eat it, right? The food is the wealth. That's what you need and want. You know, some, some of it we probably don't need, uh, <laughs> and like Twinkies. No one needs Twinkies. Uh, people eat them. I don't, I never was a big Twinkie fan. Now these little Debbie Swiss, Rolls, I've eaten those till I was almost sick. I'm trying to break away from that stuff these days. But, you know, some of the food we eat, we need, a lot of it we just want, but it's still wealth. That's wealth, the stuff. The money is not. <clears throat> but we've ended up equating money with wealth to the point where now most of us, right, are chasing the money just money as if it were the wealth itself. And we hold on, then we get, if we get it, right? Then we just hold on to it. We put it in the offshore account, right? In the Cayman Islands or whatever, uh, billions of dollars and just sit on it. And, and a lot of times it's not even really invested in something else that's gonna make more money, which why would you need more money when you have that much? I don't know, but it's not even really invested. It's just sitting there. So, because the, the mind has, has been tricked into thinking that the money itself is the actual wealth, when in fact, it's just paper or coin or whatever, or most of the time, just digits in a computer, right? It, it, they don't even, a lot of this money doesn't even exist really in a real form. It's imaginary. And money really, in a sense, is imaginary. It can't same way that like language is a symbol for the words. The words I speak is actually language. On a piece of paper, it's not. It's, it's a symbol of the language. So money is a symbol. Wealth is the stuff. Try not to get them confused or unconfuse them. <laughs> because your life will be better if you do. Trust me. Uh, it, it has for me once I manage to divide those two concepts uh it's a lot easier to deal with the fact that sometimes you don't have a lot of money but you look around you know i have lots of wealth 
right? I have food in the fridge, I have books to read, I have a house and shelter, right? Clothes to wear, thankfully. Uh, so that is the wealth. And that plays into video one I did weeks ago. Gratitude is the key. <laughs> if you're grateful for what you already have, chances are you'll get more of it. That's enough for this week. We'll see you guys next time. Later.